We're rolling. We ready? What's up, viewers of the YouTube? Welcome to another episode of Finally Friday. Woohoo! We made it to the weekend. We have a different change of scenery here for you guys. For a specific reason. Shh. We just went through and renovated the rest of our RV. We've done a couple other renovations and we'll put the links to the video up here. Since the video for the new updates hasn't released yet, we don't want you to see it ahead of time. Mm -mm. And our plan was to shoot outside, but it is really it's windy cold. and cold. Yeah. So we are not shooting outside, so you get to stare at our microwave. Yeah, <laughs> it's like... 40 degrees outside and 20, 20 mile, mile an hour winds. Yeah, it's, it's cold. It's brisk, but we could be back home in Indiana where they just got like eight or 10 inches of snow and they can keep all of it. Really crappy because yesterday it was beautiful. It was like 72 mm -hmm. degrees, sunny, beautiful, and then crap. So yeah. if you're new to our channel, we have content every Monday and Friday. Fridays are our Finally Friday vlogs where we talk about pretty much anything. We never know where it's going to go. Sometimes, day life. sometimes it goes real deep, real fast. And other days, it's just kind of whatever. But Mondays is always normally RV related content or travel nursing content. Occasionally, we sprinkle in some like gun videos or hunting stuff, things that John is interested in. Manly stuff, as he says it. I just don't want to do my own channel. I know. It's way too much work. Anyways, so that's what our channel is about. So if you have not yet subscribed, make sure and hit that subscribe button and the bell uh, that will notify when all of our new content comes out. And we are almost at 700, I think. I don't know where we're... 680. That's what we're at right 680? now. 680? Yep. So we're at 680 and we are planning another giveaway at 750. We're going to be giving away not only one, but two laptops, mm. double the chance to win. We are calling the giveaway the Road to 1000, so we will open the giveaway at 750 subscribers and then we will close it down at 1000. Yep. Then we will pick two winners and announce them on one of our Finally Friday vlogs. And when he says we will pick two winners, we won't. You we won't, well. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look. God. Guess who's back? <laughs> you have oh no you have a Columbia hat on. No, nope, I'm mixing have... I'm mixing up brands. Um, We're gonna see who gives us a sponsor first. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Okay, That's what <laughs> it's it a race to the sponsor. Cool. Yeah. With all of our renovations, I always watch like, well, we all know I've talked about my new obsession with TikTok and the RV world of TikTok. Watching people's renovations and like on Instagram and YouTube and everything. And first of all, it's like anything in life. People on the internet make things look like it's just snap your fingers and voila it's done but the other thing too is I you know a lot of people do like total renos and they take like 12 months to do them well when you live in an RV you really don't have 12 months to just leisurely move crap around when all your belongings are in here literally everything we own is inside the RV so it gets a little messy it's a little hectic very confusing for the dogs yeah poor babies they every time they'd find a spot to lay down and we're like move move because we're carrying crap around we only have one more big renovation that we're going to do and that pertains to the island here mm -hmm. but i'm not going to go over what we're going to do because that would spoil another video i think this is going to be our largest renovation definitely and it's not going to be for a while because all the renovations we've done now we already had the materials for we already had the paint we already had everything mm -hmm. it's just we never ended up doing it when we did the original renovations it was a free upgrade yeah and the grand total for everything so we actually have a playlist that you can see all of our renos that we've done basically over the last year or any modifications anything like that the grand total i believe is like 480 dollars so really to get everything how we wanted it and laid out how we wanted it they don't design any rv i don't care how well a full-time they're not laid out for full-time living so okay you know what i mean I don't think it does a bad job. No, no, I'm factory. Oh, okay. I'm saying like, you know, the way they put lights in or the way they do cabinets or the way, you know, it's never specific for full-time living. I'm just I saying. I don't agree with that. Okay, well, I think for investing. No, because you're just picky. Whatever. You're I want it to be specific no, to our needs. No, you're picky. We could have, the way this RV came originally, we could have sufficed my point was she's picky for less than five hundred dollars we have everything exactly how i want it now but you also have to be handy i mean it's not yes. like oh you really can't get anybody to come in and renovate rvs mm -hmm. for you at least as far as i know yeah and i'm not hiring out my services so 
there's that. Well, and you have to carry all your tools with you and stuff like that, you know. Yeah. I mean, if, if this was, like, if we lived in our house and this was pulled in our front yard and, like, you had your garage full of tools and you could come back and forth, that, I mean, that would be really easy. But it is very hard to renovate on the road while yeah. you're living in it, so. You gotta get very creative. Yes, yeah. so just a heads up. a bunch of stuff. Yeah, just a heads up to anybody who's thinking about renovating their RV. It is not as easy to do while you're living in it as you would think. Okay, we're moving on. <laughs> John. Remember, no, hold on. <laughs> so two months ago, I ordered a package, completely forgot about it, and then I got an alert that it had shipped. Well, I have been saved. This box has been sitting on our island for a week, a week now, <laughs> waiting for this finally Friday video so that I can open it for you folks. And you don't know how much restraint a lot of and restraint. willpower that took. And I almost opened it because I didn't know what it was. <laughs> so. Don't be opening my packages. This is from Tier One Concealment. So if you don't know who they are, we'll drop a link to their website in the description below. But they make um, build to order and custom holsters. We're gonna open it. A few things here. A wedge pack, which I'll go over that in a minute. Here. There. Ooh, it comes in a... Fancy little bag. Fancy little canvas bag. Extra bungee cord, which I'll show you what that goes to. And some stickers. Never have enough stickers. Yeah. Here it is. Oh, I forgot we went this color. Which one was but this for? The Glock 19? This is for the Glock 19. So what's nice about these is this is uh, pretty much for appendix draw. And you have an extra magazine here. And then your gun, of course. This little clip right here. What this little clip does is when you have it on your belt, see it flexes here in the center, it pushes against your belt and makes it hug into your body a little more. And there's another little ridge right here that does the same thing. This pushes against your belt. So it allows it to flex and hug into you. So we got the white with the blue paracord or the bungee cord and then I got a red one too to change out in, that, in case I'm feeling frisky. 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 Oh, like if so, you want to match your North North Face yeah, sweatshirt? Yeah, because I have oh, a blue North Face. Oh, and you have North a blue face. North Face too, yeah. so there you go. See? So what these these little wedge packs here, what these do, a lot of times when you have appendix, if you do have a fupa or a big belly, <laughs> your belly can push on the front and dig this bottom into your crotch pretty much. So what these wedge packs do is they, these little wedges here, go on the back like this to push it back out so oh. that it makes it flush. So. This is like the Kim Kardashian of the gun world. The fake butt? The, no, the, her little body shaper crap or whatever. Okay. You know, like the Spanx? Nope. <laughs> no idea what you're talking about. Uh, the gut sucker in her. That's what that thing is. Okay. Anyways, that's John's last hoot raw. Yeah. We have stayed on budget with everything and even doing all the renovations, like he said, we already had the stuff, so kept to the budget. We had to spend a little bit extra. On the filing cabinet. On the filing cabinet, yeah, because mm -hmm. we didn't have that already. Yeah, but we had kind of budgeted for that that's already. That's a so. business expense, so it's technically yeah. a write-off. <laughs> More exciting news, we have 24 days until our house goes on the market. I'm super excited. Yeah. I'm ready to get that done and over with. I think we're both anxious and excited to get rid of it, um, just because that's like one less... We don't have a mortgage anymore. Like that'll yep. be wonderful. Uh, we won't have property taxes, insurance, all that. I mean, we get rid of all that, but I am extremely sentimental and he is not. And so to me, like I have a harder time letting go of the house. I'm coming to terms with it. That also means that we have like five weeks until we are Texas residents. And I swore... Well, five weeks until we can apply for Texas residents. Yeah, and I swore that I would never become a Texas resident. What you got against Texas? You know, John and you I... You realized you married a Texan, I right? I know. John and I's very okay. first date, we were at a um, Chinese restaurant, and he... <laughs> I... I had taken my fork and I like stabbed his plate and grabbed something Bad and move. he took his fork and blocked mine and he's like there's two things you need to know about me. Mind you this is our very first date. He said don't ever touch my food because he doesn't share well at all. John don't share food. No. And number two was I'm eventually going to move to Texas again. And well I knew I wasn't staying in Indiana. 
Yeah, but you told me so you told me I then you were gonna to go Texas. to Texas. Yeah. yeah. And um I was like, Oh, we'll see. Convinced him to marry me. Wink wink. No. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. And I thought I had him stuck in Indiana. But nope. so anyways, we are ending up back in Texas and or for you back in Texas. And I am gonna be a Texan. What is why? Why don't you like Honest to God, it all comes down to the service roads and I know you think that is the dumbest thing ever. That is the but dumbest I thing. I don't care. I that hate it. That is the dumbest reason. I hate it. I hate the way that Texas is laid out. It's just a horrible way to drive. I just don't I don't like it. I know it's stupid. But there's also a lot of like like I don't agree with the emissions crap that Texas has and all the inspections, which I know a lot of states have that now, but they're not um, as bad as some states. And the toll roads, good God, Texas is just full of toll roads. and That's how they know. keep the roads nice. But are they? Yeah. Because uh, there's no state income tax. Um, do you remember like our spare tire fell off the RV in Texas? Yeah. Yeah, because the roads. There is no state income tax in Texas, which is nice, but... Hence why we're going there. But they like tax you on other crap to make up for that. And Mia is having is a dream. Mia or Quinn? No, it's Mia. She's down here. Mia's having a dream right now. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> we got a new rug for them, which we will also show you in our renovation video yep. on Monday. We want to give a very special happy birthday wish to one of our subscribers, Jordan. <laughs> a late birthday. A late birthday. Belated yes. birthday. I think he's 42 now. 42? Oh, he's gonna, <laughs> he's gonna choke you out. <laughs> All right, that's gonna be it for today's episode. Stay safe. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Dunzo.